Hi, welcome to NAB 2017. If you're wondering what NAB means, it means National Association of Broadcasters. Their tagline is where content comes to life. It is an event where you get to see from high-end devices that are mind-blowing to these derp cameras that can do wonders. Where you get to meet fantastic people like Gert Brown, Locke, Austin and Griffin. Where sometimes you see people embarrassing themselves over free stuff. This is probably why NAB is not open to public. was my first NAB. The journey began with DJI's event where they revealed Ronin 2, Tractana and Sendence. I had the honor to sit and watch this event with these great people. The next day I picked up my badge and walked to the Las Vegas Convention Center. Compared to CES, NAB is a lot less crowded, parking is easy, walking is easy, talking to people is easy. So I ended up having a wonderful time at this show. Now let's go and see what the fuss is all about. I'm fully equipped, I have my gimbal, I brought my RX100 Mark IV and Mark V and my cooling fan and my external batteries and the whole nine yards. This is Nokia. They have a 360 camera. Oh, and feedback. We've been very focused on video quality, which is a huge checkbox for Nokia. A company very focused on the quality of the VR experience. And it's kind of symbiotic for new lines. So that's the camera. You, Looks like a weird submarine. But right next to Nokia, let's just walk over here. Everywhere you look, it is 360 right now. Right next to them, we have Insta360, which is what they do. And that is their 360 camera. This is it. Oh man. Anywhere we look. Look, VR Live. Let's move on. Awkward silence. Virtual and augmented reality. Hi. Thank you. Got a brochure. Let's look at here. Another 360 camera. This is Kodak Pix Pro. You know the Pix Pro. It is their 360 camera. It is the 360 camera mount. And then we have Yi. I like Yi. Aha, uh -huh, Yi. And this is one of their 360 cameras. Yeah. And then they also have the Yi Halo. And they're working with Google for that camera. And the famous Yi 4K Plus that shoots 60 frames per second 4K video. I am planning to review this product and compare it to GoPro Hero 5 Black and Sony FDR X3000 in the near future. Yi 4K Plus looks very much like a Hero 5 Black, but unlike Hero 5 Black, Yi 4K Plus has electronic image stabilization at 4K 30 frames per second. It can shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second at 100 megabits per second. It can take 12 megapixel RAW photos and it is cheaper than Hero 5 Black. It is only $339. Yi officials say that it will have voice commands in the future as well. 
So I need to test and review this. Then we have these awkward keyboards. I don't know how they type on them. I don't know. I'm not here to judge them, so... I mean, look at this. Here we have GoPro. They have that 360 camera right there. So that's their 360 camera. And then here we have DJI. This is Ronin 2. That's Hasselblad. Mmm, yummy. This is a car rig. And here, we have something special. Uh, it's the goggles. Oh, beautiful. Okay. This is DJI goggles. Another product I cannot wait to review. With these goggles, you can see what your drone sees with a little lag. You can look at a point and focus your camera to it or you can just look around and the camera on your drone will rotate to where you're looking. I love the future. Look at this. I want this for vlogging. Once again we have these interesting keyboards here. Doesn't even have the Windows button. This is so much calmer than CES. So it's a lot easier to concentrate on something you want to see and find someone to talk about it as well. We have Canon here. I think I need this for my vlogging reasons. There you go. That just gave me an idea. <laughs> I should go to Panasonic and switch all GH5s to autofocus. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go, we can do it. Tiffin right now and steady camp. That's Garrett Brown. It's like boom, boom. So, you know, this is the stuff that I like, you know, being able to really up. It's beautiful. <laughs> that is Garrett Brown sitting right there. So do you think you can use the Apple ProRes recorder, Ninja Blade? We're going to be batting in you know, the mid-range levels. And I, I, can't, I, I don't want to show you exactly because I don't know exactly what project I'm working on. I don't want to just... That is BNH. I should join their affiliate program sometime. I think it's time we walk towards Sony. What is this? Good, I look good. <laughs> I didn't want to put in my email. We gotta go see A9. All this crowd is here to see A9. I enjoy your video. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Menu. It's hidden in the menu. Here it's <laughs> a dedicated button up shot. Yes. Yeah. 
so similar to what you find on the broadcast. Of course it is. I've been waiting for you. I've been holding no, I love your channel, you. brother. Yeah, thank you, you so much. You do some really good stuff. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, right now what you're seeing here, those blue dots blinking, that is letting you know that the camera's taking pictures. Oh, wow. 20 frames a second. Yep. We also have a lot of these live stages to demonstrate how the cameras work. And maybe it's smaller compared to CES, but still, I think both of them, even this size exhibition, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. is almost impossible. I feel quite tired. Yeah. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. We have sure. And Sennheiser. Oh, where to go? They have coffee. Hi, may I have a cup of coffee? I got my coffee. And now we have here Phantom 4 Advanced. Looks very much like Pro. Doesn't have the infrared sensor. And it doesn't have the rear sensors. But other than that, they look very similar. They're the same, basically the same. That was my in-depth review of DJI's Phantom 4 Advanced. All right, now let's get out of here. I'm lost again. This is not where I want to be. It's a legend. I need that for vlogging as well. This is the second day and it seems a little bit more crowded. Here we have Samsung. And this is their 360 camera. And there's another one hidden right up there. And you can watch it with these glasses. I've entered that as well. And here it is, black magic design. Let's go and see what they have. <laughs> and of course, DaVinci Resolve 14. That looks delicious. And here we have another 360 camera. Oh, we have another live stage here. Now let's look at Microsoft. This is a live, uh, a live, something live coming in from Seattle, Seattle studio. Nice. Live music. Oh, I'm gonna go and check it out. Yeah, go check it out. Low no latency, Skype TX, uh, perfect 1080p picture. There's no, you know, there's no delay. It's under 50 milliseconds for the turn, so we can actually. Not sure we take a request yet, but we might be taking requests later. So yeah, have a look. Oh, perfect. Enjoy it. Thank you. I didn't know TJ Miller played guitar though. I think the search is over and I finally found the vlogging gear I need. Even though I'm not a vlogger, I'm a technology reviewer. But I think I found a convenient way to vlog. With this car, I don't need to carry the camera like this. I can easily hire a driver and he can follow me with this. The car is nice. It looks like it came right out of Robocop. That's the vlogging gear you need. It's 
2017. Finally, my search is over and I can leave. I can go now. Well, thank you very much for watching this NAB special and I hope you enjoyed it. Please, I don't want to spill my coffee, but hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and join the world domination. I don't know why people aren't doing this with me. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoshakalas.